Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2024 Ford Bronco Sport. So we are working our way through the complete guide videos on all the different trim levels. We have uh, we've done a big bend. We've done the, the Heritage Edition, the Freewheeling Edition. Now we're to the Outer Banks Edition. And so we're going to cover all the standard equipment plus the different packages available and standalone options for this trim. Uh, very uh, extensive video here. So if you like videos like this, you may like some of our other videos. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified next time another video uploaded to the channel. Order banks are open up right now for the 2024 Ford Bronco Sports. And uh, so we're going to go through the outer banks to see if that's going to be the right trim for you or if you might want to look at a different trim. So be uh, hopefully you guys are watching all these videos to see which one's going to work best for you. So we're going to go through this. Uh, you can order through your great local dealerships. Uh, so you know, don't forget you can do that. So hopefully this gives you a great resource for you. If you want to order with us, we have a, a YouTube special. We'll talk more about that at the, in the conclusion of the video. I won't. And speaking of that, we're going to have timestamps for every part of the video, including conclusion. Uh, so you can always use the timestamps to move around in this. Just hit that more on the description there, and you're going to be able to load that and be able to see those timestamps, whether you're on a mobile phone, tablet, or if you're on a desktop computer there. So, okay, let's dive in. We're going to talk about these uh, different features here uh, for you, uh, starting with some of these mechanical features. We are going to use Ford's building price because they actually have it up and running which is uh, great because not all models are that way. So let's go ahead so you can see my screen here. There you go. So we do have, we've talked about the, the Big Ben this year, Heritage, Freewheeling, Outer Banks, and the Badlands Edition. And we've done videos on these first three. Now we're going to talk about the Outer Banks. It is going to start at $35,915 as a starting price here for us. So let's just click in the Start Our Build uh, so you can kind of see how you can build these. And uh, so... We're going to start talking about powertrain options first. Uh, a lot of these are the same as uh, the, some of the other models, but let's go through this. The standard engine, the only engine available, is the 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine with auto start-stop technology. Click the stop light, stop sign, press that brake, shuts the vehicle off, let go of the brake, it turns it back on. Uh, also has an 8-speed automatic transmission that's going to pair with that, and it's been doing a great job of that. You'll notice it comes standard in 4x4. So this is uh, on all these. Uh, that's the only way you can get it. It comes with the terrain management system with five GOAT modes. Go over any type of terrain. Yes, this is made to go off-road. You have a normal mode, an eco, a sport, slippery, and a sand mode. And these do come with the standard uh, off-road uh, suspension system that Ford has on the Bronco Sport. Uh, it does have a front and rear stabilizer bar, which is you're going to notice is different than most crossovers. You're going to have electronic uh, electric parking brake with includes an auto hold so it'll hold that if you want to uh, if you're at a stoplight something like that it'll hold that brake so you can take your foot off the brake which is cool uh, electronic brake assist as well uh, electronic traction control uh, electric power assist steering so that is uh, electronically controlled and that way and powered uh, just allows it to be able to turn and tighter without going slower speeds normally if it's gas powered then it's going to take some movement for it to do that, to be able to do that. Uh, so this is a little bit better system here. We do have hill start assist as well. So if you're on that hill, you won't drift back. It'll hold that while you can go ahead and hit that gas pedal. In fact, I've actually been on a on a hill brake and then let go of the brake and just sit there for a little bit. And it'll just stay there So um, because of that auto hold and such. So there's all the mechanical features. Let's talk about some safety features now uh, that's included in the Outer Banks Edition. And I really don't have a lot of clips for this stuff, but we do have, just to kind of go over it, we do have um, airbags. So in the front, you'll have a driver and front passenger dual stage front airbag. Deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You do have a driver knee airbag as well that's going to deploy down an airbag, protect the driver from that front collision and that the column, the console, or the column steering column uh, being uh, thrust down in that front collision you have front seat side ma front seat mounted side impact airbags which means those are mounted onto the seat and it'll deploy if there's a side collision there and help protect the, the occupants and the front seats safety canopy airbag that's a safe that's a side curtain airbag with a rollover sensor that's going to come down <laughs> i can't see my hand come down over to the side so if it, it's going to roll over it's to pull that down Help. The goal on that is to, to uh, put that in front of the glass, in front of the windows, before it any of the body kind of breaks. Because typically, you're going to have sheet metal and glass wanting to come in, and that'll help protect it and, and keep it out and keep you safe in there, as well as protect your head and such. Also, we do have 
Um, advanced track with roll stability control. So the whole goal, goal behind that is to keep you on your intended path. Going to that curve maybe too fast or slick outside, it'll help keep you going where you want to. SOS post-crash alert system. So if you are in an accident off the side of the road, it's going to honk the horns, flash the lights, and let you know that someone needs to come to your safety or let others know, I should say. Also, 911 Assist allows you with your Bluetooth-enabled phone to be able to call 911 directly with that phone there if you are not able to get to your phone. Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So if you're going along, uh, it's going to have a it's going to have dynamic brake support, uh, collision warning. So if you're going at certain speeds, the car in front of you is going slower than you, or they're stopped, and you would hit them, it's going to alert you and let you know you need to you need to hit your brakes. Preloads the brakes as well, so you can stop even faster. If you are in an accident, there is post-collision braking as well that's going to break the vehicle. Sometimes people forget to put it in park. It's just one of those things. You just had an accident. You're kind of freaking out and everything. Uh, it'll help break the vehicle for you. And if you're unconscious, too, a uh, situation like that. So a couple other things. You do have lane keeping system that will help keep you in your lane. So you have the uh, dri driver alert feature. So if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often, it's going to alert you and let you know that you're doing that and maybe maybe you're falling asleep, that kind of thing. Also, you do have lane keeping aid system and alert system. So two different ways they use. You can use them together if you want or separately. The alert system will allow you to leave your lane, but when you go over those lines, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. The aid system will help keep you in your lane. Uh, so you can use those together. What it'll do is when you get over to the line, it'll vibrate the steering wheel but still leave you in your lane. So you can use those one or the other or both together. Uh, so we do have perimeter alarms. So when you have the vehicle locked up, it's going to put a perimeter alarm on the vehicle. So if someone tries to break glass, get inside and such, it's going to set that alarm off. Somebody shakes it, moves it, and that kind of thing. Uh, then it's going to do that same thing. Also, you do have secure lock, passive, and the theft system, which means only the coded key can start the vehicle. So that helps protect it from being started without the key. So there you go. That's all of our safety features. So let's talk about these exterior features we're using, still using a building price for this. And so you can kind of see the difference look of this versus some of the other trim levels. So this does have the acoustic laminated windshield. So that's two pieces of glass with plastic in between. It kind of helps, makes it a little bit quieter, but also helps protect it if something hits that windshield to kind of keep it together there. You do get rain sensing wipers. You don't see that on any of the first three trims we've talked about. Rain sensing wipers, if you have it in one intermittent setting and you have this activated in your wiper section of your vehicle setting screen, it's going to make to turn the wiper on and as it rains harder it's going to wipe faster you don't have to do anything also the grill is going to be a black grill uh, so it's a painted black grill here with the bronco in white uh, so you're going to a distinct look to this one here all of the grills look a little different and this one here is a very dedicated grill for this one. front bumper is going to be black molded in color which means they take that color and they put it in the mold and make it so it's not painted on it makes it a little bit more durable for rocks and such you're going to see that in a lot of places on the vehicle as we go uh, further uh, we do have the active grill shutters that open and close when it needs to to allow for airflow in to help the engine function a little bit better. We do have configurable daytime running lights as well. You can have those can be configured to be on during the daytime. LED headlights. So that's a great feature. So the automatic feature as well. So that means if you have an, an auto setting, they're going to come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. Uh, LED signature lighting. So it's going to light up. This is a ring right around the outside. So it gives you LED headlights and LED signature lighting as well. Pretty cool feature. LED fog lights as well are included in, in, in with this. And you get auto high beams. So that means if it's dark enough outside, it's going to turn those high beams on. If someone approaches you or you're in the city lights, it's going to shut it off. Now that's a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. Now, look at these wheels. It is an 18-inch machine face aluminum ebony painted wheel. So actually real similar wheel looks like to the freewheeling edition other than it's not painted like those are. So, uh, and, and it just may, might be me and looking at it, but it does come with all-season tire as well with this. 18 is bigger than a Big Ben. The other three have 17. This is where we see a bigger uh, tire or wheel, I should say, and that is uh, for the Outer Banks edition. Uh, individual tire pressure monitoring system as well. Four-wheel disc brakes are included with this, uh, with ABS. Um, and then I'm going to move around to the side over here so you can see this. We do have the molded in black wheel lip molding. So you can kind of see this, this look here right there, lower rocker molding around the wheel lip moldings in the back. It helps. It's more durable. So that way you can, it, it can withhold uh, rocks and such getting kicked up. So you can take this off road, right? So it's a little bit unique uh, styling here for this. We do have also uh, the mirrors, power heated mirrors for this, manual fold mirror, and a black mirror cap as well for this here too. 
Uh, we do have a uh, bliss system, blind spot information system with cross check alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in that corner mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also gets cross traffic alert. So if someone's going to back up, if you're backing up, someone's going to cross your path. It alerts you so that you don't hit them. A uh, series of tones and you don't for you not to back up puts a uh, red on the instrument cluster as well. Now your door handles are going to be body colored, as you can see here. Uh, you will also get an intelligent access with those. So just leave that key fob in your pocket, put your hands on door handle, automatically going to unlock your vehicle, land to get in. You also get remote start on your remote uh, as well. So you can, if you're close enough proximity, you can remote start the vehicle. Let you know another way, but that's the quickest way, and it's going to be right there on your remote. Uh, you're going to have belt line uh, molding is going to be black. Uh, you'll notice also on these pillars will be a high gloss black finish on those, and your roof will be paint painted black. So they went back to that second half of last year it was body colored they're back to doing the black painted roof as uh, for this year to launch uh roof rack unique roof rack rails so they're unique to the other trim levels this and the badlands share the roof rack rail side rails that are black privacy glass on the second row windows quarter windows and rear glass back here you do have the easy fuel capless filler door so you just push that door up no cap to worry about leave behind getting your hands dirty just put a nozzle in there, fill it up. When you're done, shut that lid. Uh, it's pretty nice and easy. Uh, child safety lock on these doors. Just want to let people know about that because that way they can't open those if the vehicle is unlocked. Uh, you have to open the doors for them. So that just allows for those smaller kids not to pop open those doors when you don't want them to. Center high-minded stoplight up here on the part of the roof up there. Center, I call it the third brake light. You do have LED taillights back here as well. Rear wiper on this rear uh, glass back here. That glass does pop separate. Uh, manual uh, flip for that, so you can put those last items in there without having to open up the whole lift gate. You'll see the white Bronco Sport lettering back here on the back of the lift gate. Uh, the, by the way, the rear lift gate is a manual as well lift gate for that. Rear view camera on the back, so you can be able to see behind you as you're backing up. You also get rear parking sensors, as standard equipment on this too, so you're going to get alerted if you get too close to anything backing up. Molded in black rear bumper, as we mentioned, with the reflectors on there too. All right, I think I covered all that. Um, floodlight. So uh, when you open this up, just like with the other trim levels, you can have floodlights on the lift gate as well. You can adjust. I think you turn them on on the on the pass on the driver's side side wall over there. You do have a bottle opener that's going to be just inside that passenger side uh, tail light, so you can be able to use that uh, when you're on those uh, camping and that kind of stuff. Rubberized cargo flooring as well as rubberized seat backs allow you to wipe that out and wash it out in there. You do have the latch system that lower anchors and tethers for children. So those front facing rear facing car seats can be harnessed down. So you can use those instead of those shoulder straps and use the latch on the back of those seats to be able to hook those in and keep those uh, nice and uh, secured. You have a mini spare tire and wheel that's going to be underneath the flooring inside there. Uh, you do have a rear cargo light you can turn on. I believe the uh, button for that is on the right side. You have the PowerPoint. Uh, it's a 12 volt in there as well and cargo tie down carabiner hooks and loops as well two on each side of the cargo area inside there now moving to the interior in here you're going to see a unique style and look here you do have carpeted flooring front and rear for this you do also have floor mats front and rear carpeted with the bronco sport for the front ones um, and then we do have the seats sport contour seats as you can see there Leather trim seats on this. This is, uh, we haven't seen that yet on any of them. Leather trimmed, eight-way power adjustable seat. Uh, forward and back, up and down, recline, power lumbar. Uh, does have driver memory for the seat and the mirrors as well uh, for a couple different drivers. Six-way power passenger seat, forward and back, up and down, and power recline for them. Heated seat for the driver and front passenger. Also second row 60-40 split bench seat. Almost folds completely flat, pretty close. You have an armrest also that, with that loop that you can pull down. Two cup holders in that as well. Uh, Molly strap system on the back of those seats, uh, front seats as well. So you can use those carabiner hooks and such for that. On the back of the console, you're going to see air vents back there for heat and cool to come out. Uh, uh, on the back of the console as well, you're going to have a, a USB type A and C uh, adjustments on those. Um, and then uh, for the front windows, it is a uh, power windows for you. Uh, it is one touch up and down feature for the front row windows uh, on all the others it's just the driver's window it's only down this and allows you to be able to go down and up one touch means you just push it down or pull it up till you feel a click 
and then you let go and it's going to let it go down or up for those front windows, which is nice and convenient. Power door locks as well. Leather wrapped steering wheel that is also heated. Nice feature to have, heated steering wheel. Manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Just pull the lever underneath. It'll go up and down, forward and back for you. Uh, 4.2-inch productivity screen. Actually, that looks like it's a 6-inch in there, doesn't it? You do have a speedometer and a tachometer. It does look bigger than it does on the others. I may need to uh, resource and uh, the order guide to make sure. Actually, I have it right here. Let's just double-check our facts here for that because I have, um, unless they change it for this, this year. They might have made that a change for this year um for your productivity screen it is a six six and a half inch digital productivity screen so there's a nice upgrade here i believe last year's a 4.2 so there you go cruise control on the steering wheel as well and controls to, uh, to control the productivity screen um there you go push button start is right under that the vent right there you'll notice a unique look all the way by the way it has that little bit brown accent as well as the c-clamp and your armrest that i didn't mention earlier Pretty cool. Push button start right there underneath that vent, by the way. Going back to that. Dual zone climate control. Driver from passenger have two different temperatures. Electronically controlled as well. Um, and automatic cl uh, climate. So you can set it to that temperature. AM FM stereo with six speaker audio sound system. Sirius XM satellite radio. Sync 3. Eight inch touch screen right there. Apple CarPlay. Android auto capability as well. You do have the auto dimming rear view mirrors. You don't have a lever to worry about flipping or anything. It's got automatically dim that mirror when cars come up behind you with those bright lights. Um, now, moving down, we do have a sunglass bin up here. Also, map lights as well right there. Visors with illuminated vanity mirrors on the back side of those. Um, let's see, down in here, we do have a US, uh, PowerPoint right in there as well. We do have a USB Type A and C ports right there too. Um, and we do have the nice little bin for you to be able to put the, your phone in if you need to. Uh, does have an outlet as well in the media bin, it says. Um, I don't see it in here. Can't tell that in there. Rotary dial shifter knob. You do have the parking brake as well as the auto hold button. And your um, goat modes is going to be right there. You can't see it there. Uh, don't forget you have a padded armrest with storage inside that console and storage on, in there. And we do have ambient lighting. That lights up the foot wells and cup holders and such. Maybe not the cup holders, but the foot wells. Ice blue on that. And you do have the Ford Pass Connect. allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. Uh, so it's a free app you download. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere. Unlock and lock, unlock and unlock your vehicle from anywhere. Remote start uh, your vehicle from anywhere. Uh, you can see the tire pressure on your tires, all four of them, uh, the fuel you have in your vehicle, where your vehicle is located, all using that app. So that's all of our standard equipment. Other than, let's talk about colors for a second. Uh, and uh, first, uh, let's talk about interior colors, because I think you do have two different interior color options. We do have this here, which is your ebony and roast interior. And uh, then you click on this other one, and you have your navy pier interior here. Uh, so it's going to give you the blue accent. So two different color options for you. I'm just waiting for the circle to go to make sure I'm correct on that. Um, actually, I have the offerings right here. So for the Outer Banks, yes, it is the Navy Pier available in all colors. Uh, so both of those color options in the interior are available for all your interior options. Um, I'm going to go back to this other one because it's not liking that color option. What just happened? Wow, it just totally went to different trim levels. Like, <laughs> uh, that's not even the right trim level. Let me go, let me go back. I did something wrong here, folks. I think the order guy just flipped its mind here. <laughs> the building price. Now, let's try this again. So, all right, interior option colors. Okay, we're right now. All right, <laughs> so go back up to the exterior. Let's talk about colors. Go over here to paint. We do have the a lot of paint options here for us. We do have this hot pepper red tinted clear coat, four ninety five for that because it is a, a clear coat that they put on that. Um, wow, it's not working very well, is it? Uh, iconic silver metallic as well. Uh, it's going to be a lighter color than that for you. We do have Atlas Blue. Uh, we're doing all kinds of things to this system here. Atlas Blue is a no-cost color for that. Uh, this next one should be Carbonized Gray Metallic. That's pretty close right there. No-cost color for that. Um, we do have the Cactus Gray. So all these Cactus Gray is not correct. That is, it, It's a lighter color than that, folks. Um, and we do have the Eruption Green. Is does not cost extra. That's, that's pretty accurate. Might be a little darker than that. A new color for this year 
is the desert sand that is available. No cost color there. Uh, we also do have azure gray. So that is a tri-coat. So it's $9.95 for that color and it is three coats of paint uh, on that. So that's a pretty color that kind of replaces your Area 51. Alto blue is not available this year either. And cyber orange is not available, which was a tri-coat available last year. And then we also do have shadow black and we do have Oxford white. And all those are trying to think <laughs> through because I've really confused it right now. So uh, we're going to refresh this and let's talk about some different packages available. Now let's go ahead and talk about the Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. Now this package is actually available on all trim levels. Uh, so I'll probably include this clip on all of them. It makes it a little bit easier for uh, making these videos. So as you can see there, $8.95 is the price for this package. And I think it is a really good value on that because on this one here, this is where you're getting your adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering, evasive steering assist, and your uh, voice activated navigation system. Um, with the speed sign recognition as well. So that's a lot of features. And I like this because this basically allows you to add this Copilot 360 Assist and have your adaptive cruise on all of your Bronco Sport trim levels. Something I've been begging um, uh, for to do with the Maverick since it was launched is to make this available on the XLT trim, which is not. You have to go clear up to Lariat trim and spend a lot of money. And uh, Bronco uh, on the Bronco Sport, you're able to get this package on any trim level. So this, let's break this down between all of them. Show your adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering. So let's talk about that first. Adaptive cruise means that you can actually go with traditional cruise like you normally use it or adaptive, which means when you set that cruise, you're going to go along if someone's going you know, slower than you and you come up uh, behind them, it's going to slow you down to go their speed and tell you it's safe for you to resume. Then it's going to speed you back up. So that's a, a great feature to have. Also helps keep you, it brings you a complete stop as well. So if you're going along, it'll help. Uh, if there's someone going and you get your stop and go traffic, bring it to complete stop. And then when they start going, you start going, which is great. Also lane centering helps keep you in the center of your lane which is a great feature to have. So it's a little different than lane keeping, which can be activated um, with or without your cruise. This is dependent on your cruise with the adaptive cruise and keeps you in the center of your lane. So you can really, there's actually times where you could take your hands off the steering wheel because it's going to keep you in that lane. It's just one step from being on that blue cruise, right? Capability there. Also evasive steering assist. So if you're not able to stop in time, uh, with the vehicle you need to avoid somebody it's going to assist in the steering so you can steer around them easily so it's going to make it easier to steer uh, we also do get the voice activated navigation system with this uh, so that's going to be included as well i'm um, not sure the length of that um, some of the vehicles i know it's been they've changed it to one year um, this actually says uh, you're going to get the sirius xm traffic link um, for five year subscription with this traffic and travel link uh, looks like you get the navigation is just going to be included. So it doesn't it doesn't have a, a term there. So that's pretty cool. So navigation, there you go. And speed sign recognition goes along with your cruise control. So if you're going along and you set that cruise for, let's say the speed uh, is 70, and you set your cruise at 75, five over, and you can set that tolerance. If that speed zone changes like 65, you'll slow down to six to 70 miles an hour. So that really helps. And, you know, maybe if you didn't realize the speed changed, you're talking, whatever, um, that kind of helps from getting tickets, uh, safety as well, and that kind of thing. So uh, I think those are great. You can adjust those in your settings. So Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus package available on all your Bronco Sport trim levels. All right, so let's talk about the tech package. This package is available on the Outer Banks trim only, and uh, it uh, just includes some extra added features. If, if you notice on the Outer Banks, it came with a lot of the convenience features that we did see in the Big Ben and the other trims, uh, with the exception of a couple. Uh, so uh, now with this, and we do have some other uh, features that were included in the convenience package. So 1285 for that, you do get the universal garage openers that gives you the garage openers on the visor you program for the different transmitters. You also get the wireless charging pad. Those two things were in the convenience package on the other trim levels uh, that allows you to put your phone down in there and wirelessly charge your phone. Now, things were not available on the other trim levels that's part of this tech package and that's the bno sound system by bang and olson gives you 10 speakers including a subwoofer and it gives you the hd radio so it's a nice big upgrade for that so it gives you the upgraded audio sound system for this so that's another package that is available along with the other packages so pretty cool uh, that's available only on the outer banks trim 
So let's talk about another package available. Uh, now this package is available on the Big Ben as well as the Outer Banks trim levels. Uh, and this is that allows you to be able to take your vehicle off-road uh, by giving you some protection and some uh, some durability and some cool graphics as well. So this is called the Black Diamond Off-Road Package, available late last year in 2023. Uh, so, I mean, in fact, I'm back maybe only one month of production for this package here and the only reason i know that is because i ordered one and it still has not been built so um, september build date for mine and i ordered it the first day it was available and got scheduled the first week it was available to be scheduled um so i, I can tell you that for a fact so again available in the big bin or outer banks trim this gives you uh the availability to go off-road so it gives you the underbody protection it's going to protect give you a skid plate on the front protect the engine and such not sure how much underbody protection you're going to get hopefully the fuel tank as well that'll help protect that. Uh, you'll also get the upgraded, you'll get a 17 inch carbonized gray painted low gloss alloy wheel. So that's typical of that. So you'll normally see the, if you look at the Badlands wheel, it is gonna look similar to this, just a little bit different color. Uh, so I, in fact, it might be the same wheel. So you're gonna get that as well. You also go, you'll notice that you're gonna get an all-terrain tire that goes with that. So it's a two uh, Continental 225-65 R17 tire. So get an all-terrain tire instead of an all-season tire to go with it. And then you're gonna get the black diamond graphics package as well. Uh, you're gonna get that here on the side. I believe you even get it on the hood too. So pretty cool upgraded uh, graphics and such and great package. Now do remember on this in here, this is the dedicated wheel you get with this package, so you cannot get the optional 18-inch wheel with this uh, as well. So a pretty cool package. Again, $12.95 for this package and available on the Big Ben or the Outer Banks. So let's talk about the Class 2 Trailer Tow Package. Now, this package is available, as you can see up here, on the Big Ben, the Freewheeling, the Outer Banks, and the Badlands uh, models. Um, it's actually included in the Heritage Edition, which... When I get to the Heritage Edition, you'll know that. Um, so you, you know, we'll talk about that. But also, this package is required if you get the on the Big Ben trim, if you get the uh, Black Diamond package as well. So just so you know that. Uh, so this package here is, of course, like you'd expect, was going to give you the hitch back here. So you're going to get that uh, Class 2 trailer tow hitch. You're going to get the spots for the hooks four pin wiring as well back here but also this will contain gives you the full size spare as well on your big Ben and outer banks the reason you don't get the full size spare on the other ones is because um, more than likely it's you're already getting a full size spare on that trim that's probably why uh, so this is a great package um, again does require on the uh, the uh, big Ben um, with the black diamond package it's required uh, but is optional on all the other trims as well. Big Ben, Freewheeling, Otter Banks, and your Badlands Edition. So let's talk about standalone options now that we've covered all the standard equipment and the different packages. Um, and uh, so we'll just go down here through the exterior features. Now, we already uh, talked about the, the wheel that's included in that Black Diamond package. Uh, but other than that, there's no other optional wheel available for this uh, or uh, tire, I don't believe. I think that tire is actually part of that off-road package. All right, so... Going down here, let's talk about some of these. Some of these are things that you might want to think about getting later. So the front and rear splash guards, those are put on at the factory. And because they do put on at the factory, sometimes that can hold up your build from getting scheduled. I would encourage you to get those later or have your dealership install those for you. When it comes in, you can get those through Ford Accessories website and do it that way on that particular one. Now, we do have a fender flare kit. This is a dealer installed option. Uh, it's a pocket style molded in black. So if you want to put that on your vehicle, you can not available with your mud flap kits or the other optional fender flare kit, which I didn't mention that, but this would be uh, the dealership would put that on for you when it comes in, when it comes in, they'll ship it ahead of time. Also, you get fender flare kit two, which is also a dealer installed option. This one's going to come, uh, it's not going to be uh, painted, but it's going to be paint a bowl. So that means the dealership would paint that, uh, and put it on. So not available again with your other uh, fender flare kit, but also not available with your mud flaps, which we're going to talk about later. That's 1160 if you want to add that to your vehicle to add a little bit of flare to your vehicle, right? Sorry, had to. All right, engine block heater. Uh, so this here, uh, engine block heater, something is uh, would be done at the factory, and I encourage you to get this from on your vehicle if you think you're going to keep your vehicle outside and you need to start that in the dead of winter. Uh, it might help it out. So you just plug that in and uh, to your house. Uh, some of you know what 
don't know what we're talking about there if you live in those northern states. We do have uh, Roof Rail Crossbars 2. Uh, this one is a little bit different than the other trim levels. They sh This one, because of the design of the side rails, this one's not why they have a number two. But if you want to put that on there, again, available on the Outer Banks and Badlands. Uh, then you can uh, manage your cargo, maybe put bike racks, that kind of thing on there. If you're wanting like a tent, you might look to get the Yakima ones that come with the tent because they're going to be a little, they're going to actually uh, come over further and it will be a little bit better for this, uh, those rough rack rails. So there you go. That is available and that is a dealer installed option. So the dealership, they would be shipped ahead of time. The dealership would install it for you. Mud flap kits, uh, you got a front, rear, and a front and rear. So 360 for the front, 340 for the rear, or 680 for both. Uh, you're going to see more of a rubberized material there for those. Uh, those say Bronco on them. They're pretty cool. Those are not available with your splash guards and not available with your fender flare kits. We talked about that earlier. Uh, and it looks like the dealership would install those. So they'd be shipped ahead of time and the dealership would get those and put them on for you. So there you go. Now, moving down, we do have the, uh, of course, we talked about the graphics as part of that package. You got the Topo graphic package, $500. And again, it gives you a little bit different design over there. So um, that is available on the Big Ben Outer Banks and Badlands Edition. Does not say if that's not compatible with your Black Diamond package. It doesn't say that. So you probably could add that with that. Let me find that. That is that is actually Ford Accessories. They would put it on at the factory, and there's no requirements on that. So it sounds like it could be put on with the Black Diamond package. So to think about. All right, moving to the interior options. We do have the Power Moonroof, 920 for that. That power moonroof does require you to add the tech package. So you have to have that and not available with the center console vault for some reason. I'm not sure why. Controls are up here, vaults down the console. Anyway, I will leave it at that. Not sure. Anyway, there you go. Power moonroof not available uh, or is available. Does require the tech package, but not available with your console vault, which is a dealer installed option we'll talk about later. All right. So, um, and now... Moving on down, we do have a cargo mat. So this allows you, if you want to, you're going to get a washout uh, rubberized flooring. But if you want to put that mat in there, it makes it a little bit easier because then you can pick it up and then clean it instead of having to try to wash out your interior. Uh, although that interior one will come out too. But uh, 130, if you want that, does have a nice cool pony on there as well, or Bronco. Uh, now the next three are things that I would probably encourage you. Oh, by the way, the cargo mat is going to be put in the dealership or put in the vehicle at the factory. So it is not going to be dealing with install or anything. The next three I would, or the next couple, I would consider getting later. You have the on-road kit, $80. So that is going to give you a multi-tour tool, uh, jumper cables, some other things and such. So if you're, uh, you know, off the side of the road and inclement weather, there you go. You do have a first aid kit as well. So bandages and such like that. So again, both of those are available through Ford Accessories. I'd get it that way and not take a chance that it would hold up your build. Um, for some reason, the off-road kit is not available on the Outer Banks trim. There you go. Into your bike rack. There you go. You can get that. That's 280. That is uh, going to be put on by the dealer. So they'll be shipping it to the dealership. Um, you know, I didn't think about this. This is not available at the Moonroof for some reason. Um, maybe because of the, the, the way it is. I didn't mention that in the other trim level. So hopefully people figure that out. Um, feel bad about that now um but anyway so there you go that's an option for you if you want to get that um floor liners front and rear you have a, an option with the carpet mats without the carpeted mats uh two different options so if you know you're not going to use the carpet mats go 160 save yourself some money there on those we do have the cargo management system pretty cool 195 for that that is available cargo management system is a factory installed option oh by the way the floor liners will be put in the vehicle before shipped out uh, but has not been holding up builds and this uh, cargo management system will be put on. It needs a special rail system on the side. So that's why it's a factory option and not something you can order later. Um, not that I know of anyway. All right. And moving down, uh, we do have the center console vault. Again, remember, it's not available at the moonroof for some reason uh, on the Outer Banks edition. But if you want to have that, it's a dealer installed option. The dealership would put it in for you uh, when it comes in. Uh, there you go. That's an option for you as well. Kind of keep your valuables in there. Some people use it as a, a gun safe, that kind of thing. Um, something else not mentioned, and I didn't see it, front license plate bracket. If you live in a state that requires a front license plate bracket, it is standard equipment. There it is right there. Uh, but if you live in a state like Kansas that does not require front license plate, it's optional. You want to make sure you have it on added. The dealership will be required to put it on the vehicle at uh, no charge to you. There you go. So that is all of our equipment. So not too bad to go scroll through those. So there are your 
uh, all your options, your standard equipment, different packages, standalone options, all in one video. Hopefully we uh, lived up to the complete guide, uh, a title that we give these. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, smash that like button if you did like the video. Uh, we're going to be having some other videos we'll uh, talk about here just a little bit. But also don't forget, you can order these now. Find a good local dealership. Let me give you a few tips if you are going into that local dealership and uh, not one you've worked with before. Uh, make sure you ask them a few questions when you put in that place in that order. So you might want to ask them what they're going to price the vehicle over over and above MSRP. What's their dealer fee? Uh, are they going to add anything to the vehicle? Because sometimes they'll add different fees like a, you know, a clear coat protectant or something like that. And those uh, typically aren't always put on, but some dealers are requiring those now as a way of having an extra profit center there for them. Uh, but that should be optional for you. So you might ask them those little things. Also ask them about if they know a little bit about price protection and incentive protection. So those are two things that Ford will honor on your order. So what that means is when you ordered the vehicle, whatever it was at the price was, and whatever the incentives were, you, you're you locked into that by Ford. And Ford will, re will reimburse the dealership those. Now, the incentive lock is going to be given as long as they the dealership knows how to find that in the Smart Vincent. The price protection is something that Ford will reimburse them back the difference if that price happens to increase from the time you ordered it and the time it comes in. Not all dealers are wanting to honor that because they don't know for sure they see that. Um, so you want to make sure that you ask them if they know and honor both of those, the price protection as well as the incentive protection. Uh, if they don't, you feel awkward about that, you might want to get that in writing as well. Uh, you might be concerned about that. So a couple of different tips for you uh, right there. So we are, are taking Bronco Sport orders. If you uh, are struggling with finding a good local dealership or just want to order through us and order it, uh, we do keep you updated on uh, different on your order and such um, and keep you going on that. And uh, we know a little bit about price protection and incentive protection, as well as uh, knowing how to not add any extra fees. We have a 495 a dealer fee and that's the only fee we add no other products are, are required with us or anything like that and we're doing msrp pricing on all of our bronco sports so if you want to order from us we do get a lot of allocations and a lot of available retail orders being able to order with us so if you want to do that uh, put that order in make sure you contact us let them know you saw the uh, youtube special because we do have that you get a thousand dollars off of uh, shipping costs if you finance a vehicle with us at standard rate so if you want it shipped from us to you uh, up to uh, first thousand dollars will be uh, covered by us, so you won't have to even take a step into a dealership and make it real nice and easy for you. If you do want to come pick it up, we'll cover the first thousand dollars of your travel expenses. We're talking airfare, um, that's your flight, uh, also uh, gas and hotel. And to think about those three for a second, it will cover those for you as well. So if you want to take advantage of that, then make sure you let the them them know that you want to do that. Make it real easy on you. Go to our website. We do have a building price available for this. Um, build your own vehicle there, and you can build it out how you want to. Fill in your information. That comes right to our department. We'll contact you back, confirm that order, and get your order submitted and make it nice and easy for you. So uh, very easy to work with us here at Law MacArthur. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, smash the like button. If you're looking for more of these, we have one more left, the Badlands Edition. If you want to check out the others, just finally just seeing this one, check those out as well. We've already done a video on the Big Ben the Heritage Edition, as well as the Free Wheeling Edition. Check those out and be looking for the next one. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have that notification turned on so that way you don't miss a single video coming up. And until the next video, make sure you stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you in that next video.